Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your first Android application using DaVinci. So if you just setting up the Android embed, this is the perfect next step. By the end of this video, have a working Android app running on your later. Okay? Get us started. Or before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have it. Like the video as well. Okay. So let's get straight in. As you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2026 copy. Okay. Get us started. Let's go ahead and, and click on Create a New Project. So this will actually open the new project dialog for us. On the language side here, yeah, make sure we select um, C Sharp. And on the platform side, we select Android. We can leave it at all devices, um, all project types, or we can select our bad projects. Doesn't really matter. So as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of project templates that we can get started with. But for, for this video sake, we're going to use a standalone Android pro project. So first, as you can see, we've got a .NET Maui app. So this is a project creating a .NET Maui application that targets iOS, Android, Mac Atlas, and whatnot, okay? If we scroll down, so we've got this project here, Android application. So this is a project template for creating a .NET for Android application. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. But let's scroll down a bit to have a look at what it's got. So as you can see here now, we've also got Android Wear application. So this is for um, creating um, um, Android applications on other Android devices like the smartwatch and whatnot. Okay, so for this video sake here, let's go ahead and select the Android application. Okay, and click next. So here we will be able to configure our project details by giving our project a set name that we actually want. We can also give, we can also select a new uh, solution or, or use an existing solution. Okay, we can also give our solution a name, which we are not going to look too much. Let's go ahead and click on create. So this will actually create the project file. So as we can see here now, we've got our new project created for before we go any further, let's have a look at what we've got so far. As you can see, it's a very simple project template to get us. So let's first look at the main activity dot CS. So the main activity dot CS obviously is, is where our project starts. So it's an entry point for um, Android application. As you can see here, on create method, okay, create a new instance um, of our application. And that sets the content due to uh, the layout or activity that's for main, which we're going to have a look next. So as you can see here now, we've got a very simple stuff here with nothing really inside. So we have to look at what we can do next. Okay. So let's go ahead and have a look at the um, resource. So inside the resource, uh, we've also got the layout folder. The layout folder contains our activity underscore main the XML. So this is our main um, main screen that will be displayed on the uh, okay. We can have a look at it here. This is what we get. It's very simple stuff here. So it's actually referenced in the app text inside our string folder. I mean, our string. So let's go ahead and have a look inside our value. Here, our values folder, we've got a strings.xml. So this is, this is where it's actually referenced. Let's open it. So, is, uh, so for this string here, this is the name of this string, app name. This is the application name, and then the, um, the test, hello Android. If we come inside here, we are referencing to the app test. Yeah, so this will actually print out the hello as we run the application. Yeah, so if we have a look here, also got our, our emulator. Yeah, if you don't have your emulator set, set up, make sure you go to the back to the previous video. On, um, on setting up the Android emulator for Visual Studio 20. 
if that's not the case, yeah, we can go ahead and, um, and run it to see what actually happens, okay? But let's go ahead and but make sure you open your emulator. So as you can see here now, I have my emulator open, okay? So we're going to go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out. So if we should get very simple, um, a very simple line screen with the test, hello Android. So let's go ahead. Okay, guys. So as you can see here now, we have the app running now. So like I said, it's a very simple app that, and it's only playing hello world. Yeah. So there's nothing really fancy going on here. So um, as we can all see, we have our first Android app running. Very simple one, just to get you started. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop running. Okay, so what I've, I've written on Copilot to create um, a very simple analog clock. So basically, I'm going to show you, I think it was on mute, I mean, pause when, when I was writing. So this is what I've, I've written. So this is what I've written. Update Android, this is the project, by creating simple analog clock. Yeah? So this is what is actually happening. So basically, um, Copilot is working on it. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit so that um, everything will be updated. So as you can see here now, we've got, um, got this being updated. So it's, it's, um, it's actually started building it. So what we've got here so far is that it's actually created a new um, custom analog clock. Us. So let's go ahead and have a look at what it is. Like. So this is what we've got inside the custom analog clock. Yeah. Basically, you can you can code yourself, or you can use it. That I mean, the copilot actually generates the code. Okay. It's not really important. So let's have a look at what's inside that. What if something has been changed inside here? So far, we've got nothing. So let's look at the activity underscore. So as you can see here now, we've got some changes made here. So let's wait for the um, co-pilot to complete its operation. So now we've got the updates completed. So let's have a look quickly. So this, um, these are the updates that has been highlighted inside of the activity underscore summary. So let's go ahead and click on keep update it. And then let's go inside uh, the custom analog clock view and keep. So this will also update this. Okay. This is where it goes. So let's go ahead and quickly run it just to see what actually comes out of it. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> the build has been successful, but it's taking long for the uh, app to run. So since we've, uh, since we've already run the first one, I'll leave it here for now. As you can see, it's running. So yeah, uh, I'll leave it here for now, not to complicate things too much. Yeah. But obviously, um, the next video is we're going to look at how to create a multi-platform application using .NET MAUI. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.